the Lady Saints were riding a three-game winning streak coming into a non-conference matchup with Newberry College on Tuesday night. David Bell and Jessica Skills working hard in the sports communication press box while coaches Brandon Chico Garcia, Tom Cantrell, Josh Travis, and Chris Whiting took some time off for soccer on a beautiful September night. In the first half, both teams had opportunities to take an early lead, and North Georgia would draw first blood as Kelsey Martin puts the dipsy do on Newberry goalie Emily Rhodes, and she would knock home the easy goal, and North Georgia would take the early 1-0 lead. We fast-forward 10 minutes, and Amberly Fowler ties things up at 1 on the nice assist from Ashley Reitz, and just like that, Newberry right back in it. We go into the intermission now. Both teams would take just one goal with them, but we'd see plenty of action in the second half, and it's Casey Smith getting things started on the free kick as she slips a two-hopper past the Newberry goalie, and North Georgia would regain the lead at 2-1. to one. The lead would be short-lived, however, as Amber Chase would kick home a beautiful one-timer over Jessica English. That would tie things up at 2-2. Two to two. Emily Dover, just 10 seconds later, would give North Georgia the lead back at 3-2, to two, and during the 64th minute of the match, the Lady Saints would knock home the backbreaker off the corner kick as Casey Smith finds the Moe's Southwest Grill. North Georgia Athlete of the Week, Samantha Aberhart, for her fifth goal of the season, and North Georgia would hang on to take down the Wolves 4-2 to two, as they now improve to 4-1 and one on the 2010 season. The All-American Casey Smith is now with us on the North Georgia Saints Broadcast Network. Casey, a big win for your bunch here tonight, to say the least. Four to two. Uh, first half going into the locker room, tied one to one. But you guys in the corner kicks just seem to keep getting better and better. Is that something that you continue to work on in the offseason? Um, yeah, I work on those, or I try to work on those a lot. Um, that's definitely one thing that our team is really strong at. Um, we have a lot of height and we have a lot of depth in the middle, so that's something that we really try to key on and um, take advantage of when we have the chance. So. Five assists now for you on the year. You finally get that first goal of the season. How, how good does it feel to get that monkey off your back and get that first goal of the year? Um, it feels really good. Um, there's definitely a lot of pressure for all of us to perform, so um, we just try to go out there, and um, we had a free kick, and so I just tried to take advantage of it. She was a tall keeper, so um, I just tried to hit it low, and it worked out. So. One more question, and we'll let you get out of here and prepare for y'all's next game coming up on Saturday against Montevallo. Uh, the preparations coming into the season, a lot of hype for this team coming in. Talk about that as opposed to last year and how you guys continue to keep living up to the hype game after game. Um, it's really just a lot of hard work at practice. Um, we know that we have a lot of potential, a lot of um, really solid talent, um, really solid, um, some really good young players, so we're just trying to use that. Um, I think our depth off the bench is really helping us um, just to keep the keep the momentum high when, um, when our our good players or our, our starters get tired, so we just try to keep that going. All right, Casey, thank you so much. Best of luck from here on out. <laughs>